back here at the Dallas Convention Center the NWCA All-Star Classic presented by the United States Marine Corps here on CSTV Jason Knapp along with Ken Cherto and 184 pounds now Jake Herbert the number one ranked wrestler of the preseason junior from Northwestern against fellow junior Roger Kish of Minnesota these two guys boy have done big things Jake Herbert wonderful run all the way to the NCAA final last year before finally getting done in to Ben Askren at 174 he's up a weight class to 184 so Herbert a runner up last year so was Roger Kish who was second at this weight class yes yeah, is an interesting matchup here you know Herbert usually shoots in there real quick let's see if he's gonna get a shot going here because he didn't shoot the first 30 seconds which surprised me actually I was wondering if he'd be able to just blow through these 84 pounders. Yeah, that was not a very good shot. Huh? He was just extended. Again, when you go up in weight class, is there a, a big key that you need to focus on as you make that move? It sounds easy, is it? Uh, it's not easy. It, each situation is a little different. Depends on the guy's style of wrestling. Um, for Herbert, as aggressive and straight on he is, it's definitely going to be a transition. Uh, you know, because he's got to be able to finish those takedowns. Usually at 74, if he got to the legs, he'd finish. It'll be interesting to see if he could get, if he gets a hold of Kish's leg, is he able to finish easy like he does typically last year? He, typically last year, he finished on most people except Askren. See, this, this, he used to be able to pull this in. Let's see if he can. He's not getting very deep at all. Those are two very weak shots. I'm not, I'm not impressed so far. Usually Herbert's a little quicker on his feet. I don't, I don't know that it has anything to do with the weight. He just it didn't get very good shots in. You kind of see how he gets extended. Doesn't really get deep penetration. Look up, he's a little bit far away. He just lunges in there. Never came close. You know, to Kish's credit, he's got good position, good hips. Kish, 37 and five last year. Junior from Lapeer, Michigan. The Big Ten champ, he Pete Friedel of Illinois. Clinched the team title for the Gophers, as you saw last year here on CSTV, and again, Got all the way to the NCAA final in this weight class. Lost to Oregon Shane Webster in the final 3-2. And again, this match is brought to you by Team Monday. One minute, one minute. Kish has not really done much offensive so far. He's, he's closing the gap. He's hand fighting. He needs to get a hold of Herbert. He's yet to do that. Herbert's been elusive. That's Herbert's third shot. There's his fourth shot. He's too extended again, though. Right here, Kish has got to work hard to get his elbow out and score. Now Kish trying to continue to work. And now stalemate finally called. The two Big Ten wrestlers, each Big Ten champs last year, but they didn't wrestle each other. They are now, and you get the sense they will see a lot of each other this season. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of close ones because neither one of them is showing much offense against each other. Herbert's trying, but hasn't really come close, and Kish hasn't done much anything. There's the shot that he used to use so well at, at last year. He's going to get it this time. That's a takedown. And he's scrambling around, gets two, looking for back points, and picks up three. So Jake Herbert, in a flash, suddenly zooms out to a big time advantage here at the end of the period. Five nothing in favor of the Northwestern wrestler. Wow, that was great. See how deep he got that time? Wow, that's what he's looking to do. And then Funk, Funk did not work that time for Kish. Kish tried to funk him and it, it, it you know, you, you wrestle risky and you run the risk of that. And that's what happened. He gave up back points off his own scramble move. And Kish, unfortunate, the way he got twisted, Herbert's knee ended up right on his neck. And that was a big reason he was able to keep him down. So 5 nothing in favor of Jake Herbert, junior out of Wexford, Pennsylvania. 36 straight wins for him last year. Unbeaten all the way to the NCAA final. It's actually a 42 match winning streak dating back to the previous year. And again, it got snapped in the loss in that NCAA championship. Another point on the escape for Herbert. A lead out to six nothing. Well, we found Kish does have some offense. Now let's see if he convert. Herbert was in this position and finished. He split the middle, he finished, and actually got back points. Will Kish be able to finish? And it doesn't look like he's gonna because Herbert is really pinching his knees together tight. He's locking the hips in tight. So this is a 
the, this is the difference. You finish your shots. Jake Herbert was able to not only finish but get back points. Kish is struggling here. His head's trapped. It's not over yet. I mean, he may slip his head out and finish. He needs to get to the side, but Herbert's really looking tight in there. Herbert's looking pretty comfortable. Oh, my. I don't see a change of position there. See, I, I, I disagree because Herbert's back's not in danger or anything yet. His head's trapped. Herbert should have flipped him over sooner. And Jerry Middleton clear on the call. Roger Kish, give him two. Yeah, his head's trapped in there. See, Her Herbert could take him to his side. That, that was surprising. I, I would say that he'd have to tilt his back a little bit closer to the mat to, to get them to get the control. And there wasn't a whole lot of change in position. If he was going to give two then, why not give two five or ten seconds ago? But history now, to the ref's opinion, he got it was a close call either way. Not a bad call, just a close call. Another escape picked up by Herbert as they get back to neutral. Kish forced to cut him loose as he tries to play the takedown game to get back in it. Yeah, it's going to be really tough for Kish to make up these points because he gave up the back points. They were critical. Heavy, 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 heavy. Five. Final five seconds here of the middle period. And it stays the same. 7-2. Herbert of Northwestern leading Kish of Minnesota. Kish is going to go on his feet. He's picking neutral. Doesn't want to go under Herbert. He can try to get a takedown and get down to business. Kish is solid, but not spectacular. He's just kind of really hard to score in good position. Herbert's just a little more agile. And Herbert truly does look like a 184-pounder. He, he definitely is not getting worse. Oh, look at that. Nice little angle on his shot. His shot. And the quickness there paying off as Herbert slithers in and finishes off the move. Two more on that takedown, and now a 9-2 bulge over Roger Kidd. Jake Herbert reminds me a little bit of Tommy Rollins in the sense that they were lightweights. They were lighter when they were younger. Jake Herbert's growth, he didn't start growing until towards into high school, towards upper class, but he kept getting bigger and bigger. He's still continuing to grow, obviously. Uh, where by Kish, even when he was in junior, senior high, he was a middle and upper weight. And uh, he's kind of been the same physique or similar throughout his career. And it shows Herbert wrestles more like a lightweight. He's very quick and agile. And he's not scared to dive in on shots, as you saw in the first period. Although unsuccessful, he finally got in on that one deep shot that resulted in the big back points for him. Now, Kish here of Minnesota in dire straits against Herbert of Northwestern. Final 50 seconds. Of course, Minnesota, the team rankings. Preseason number one over Oklahoma State. Could this be the year the Golden Gophers end that run of titles for the Cowboys? Well, it's the era of parody, and we're not going to know till the end. It's going to be some great wrestling all year. The national duels is going to be really exciting. Covering that last year with you at the you, you and I at the Unidome, that place was packed. And as you remember, King Cole Conrad pinned Steve the Bear Mako from Oklahoma State in the finals. So Oklahoma. You know, for Oklahoma State, lost that dual meet to Minnesota. That was exciting action. I think all year it's going to be a toss-up back well, and forth. We saw Dustin Slater of Minnesota winning earlier here. Kish looking like he's going to fall to Herbert of Northwestern. We expected to see Cole Conrad had to pull out with a, a minor injury. They expect him to be back going. And maybe more importantly for Minnesota, Mack Ryder tore an ACL earlier in the preseason, has had surgery. Jay Robinson expects to have him back, hopefully by the first of the year. And Ryder, obviously a guy they're counting on for their national title hopes. Yeah, that's going to be tough stuff, Jason. You know, you just never know with serious knee injuries like that. So I, what, they, they're hoping to get him back, and they're hoping he's going to be effective. But boy, there's so many good lightweights. It's going to be a challenge for him to be at his best at the end. So Minnesota's got their work cut out for him. I think Conrad's injury is very minor, and he'll be good to go. But uh, definitely Minnesota's got some work to do. But Oklahoma State's no shoe in. I mean, both their guys moved up in weight, and both of them got beat here today. So, and, and look out for Northwestern as well. Jake Herbert with a win tonight, following in the footsteps of his Wildcat teammate, Ryan Lang. So the Cats' claws out here in Dallas, and they expect to be a factor in the Big Ten race as well here in this new wrestling season. More from Dallas in this all-star classic for the NWCA. It continues in a moment here on CSTV. Jake Herbert with a fantastic performance at 184.